Sunday afternoon in Omaha, Nebraska. We were on the campus of Creighton University. It was the homestanding Creighton Blue Jays hosting Georgetown Hoyas in a matchup of teams battling for a top six spot in the Big East Conference. And it was Georgetown really establishing play early on, built a very quick 10-point lead in the first quarter. Creighton was able to battle back, put together a nice 13-2 run, took their only lead, what turned out to be their only lead of the game there in the first quarter. Georgetown ended that first quarter with a buzzer-beating basket and never looked back. Yeah, Creighton, uh, we saw a couple of three-pointers there, but that was kind of their Achilles heel on the day. While they're normally very good, the Blue Jays just four out of 18 from beyond the arc in this one, and in the end, that's probably what hurt them. Uh, really some great inside play by Georgetown. Uh, they got a lot of good play off their bench. They absolutely did. The bench producing 15 points, including seven from Logan Battle, all seven of those points in the first half, and it was their defense that really took them to a win today. Georgetown's defense holding Creighton to a season low 25% shooting from the field in this one. Creighton finishes just 15 of 59 from the field for that 25%, and Georgetown does what they do. They out-rebounded Creighton and just spectacular defense all the way around. You see some great uh, attacking of the glass, those offensive rebounds that they were able to do and uh, get some offensive put back, second chance points for, for Georgetown as well, key in this victory. Sydney Lamberty uh, leading the way for Creighton. She had 14 points on the day, MC McCrory with 12. And uh, Dominique uh, Vitalis, uh, the leading scorer for uh, Georgetown on the day. Uh, White and Adamako, their normal leading scorers, had strong games both on defense and on the boards, uh, but not the point production you normally saw, particularly for the freshman White, who had been the four-time freshman of the week. Well, and White contributed in other ways. She finished with nine points, but you, you mentioned it too. On the glass, she was effective. On defense, she was effective. Had six rebounds, and she also dished four assists. Creighton just nine assists on 15 baskets in this one. They committed eight turnovers, but really it was Georgetown's defense that keyed the victory here today. Yeah, and uh, as we indicated, double-digit lead throughout most of the second half. Creighton, though, kept battling, got it back to five with just a little over two minutes to go. Uh, a timeout was called, and certainly as we looked at that, a key play. They had a, a great play design, but just couldn't hit it, and Georgetown walked away with it at the end, winning this one 57 to 44.